hello guys welcome to my channel and today i am back with a one new video where we will talk about different morphological types of cataract so cataract is a common clinical scenario which will face usually in different ophthalmic setups and just by looking at its morphology we have to make a clear diagnosis which will help in the management of the patient let us first know what is cataract Normally, the natural lens in our eye is crystalline and transparent in nature and any opacity in this crystalline lens is called cataract. Like in this photograph, we can see normal lens in the right eye and in the left eye, lens is cataractous. According to maturity, cataract can be various types. Number one, immature cataract. Number two, mature cataract. And number three, hypermature cataract. Mature cataract are early stages of the cataract where lens is not completely opaque and the color of the immature cataract is greenish, yellow, or gray, as, you, as we see in this photograph. And iris shadow is still visible in immature cataract. And vision is usually quite good and can improve the visual acuity with spectacles cataract are late states of the cataract where the lens is completely opaque and the color of the lens is white brown black as we see in this photograph and the iris shadow is completely absent in mature cataract and vision reduced and not improved by any spectacles correction in such cataract Hypermature are very late stages of the cataract which occur when immature or mature cataract are not treated in time and the color of hypermature cataract in the superior part it is milky white due to liquefied cortex and usually brown nucleases settle down due to gravity like in this photograph we can see Moragan cataract sometimes Calcified spot over anterior lens surface is visible in sclerotic variety of hypermature cataract and usually the vision is reduced to hand movement or peer. Cataract can be morphologically classified according to the location of opacity as cortical cataract, nuclear cataract, posterior subcapsular cataract, and polar cataract. Polar cataracts also divided into anterior polar cataract and posterior polar cataract according to their location. The anatomy of the lens consists of anterior and posterior capsule and superficial cortex and central nucleus if the opacity lies in the central nuclear part it is called nuclear cataract if the opacity is in the peripheral cortical part it is called cortical cataract and if the opacity lies just below the posterior capsule it is called posterior subcapsular cataract and polar cataract can be in anterior capsule where it is called anterior polar cataract or the opacity may be in the posterior capsule where it is called posterior polar cataract. Cortical cataract occur on the outer edge of the lens cortex present with whitish wedge shaped or radial spoke like opacity as we see in this photograph. Nuclear cataract are a Type of cataract where opacity on clouding develops in the lens of nucleus. Opacity begins centrally and slowly spread to periphery. With the maturity of a hardness, nucleus increases and hardness of nucleus can be assessed by its color. In posture subcapsular cataract, opacity lies just below the posture capsule present with plug like appearance usually in such cataract patient complain of a glare that is photophobia or difficulty to see in light 
Next is posterior polar cataract where dense circular flock like opacities are formed in the central posterior part of the lens typically present like onion peel appearance as we see in this photograph and doesn't involve the nucleus in such cataract patients usually complain about a glare that is photophobia or difficulty to see in the light anterior polar cataract are congenital opacities involving the anterior capsule and subcapsular cortex Typically, they are small, bilateral, symmetric, and non-progressive and not of visual significance. I hope this video is very useful to you and thank you for having patience and watching this video till the end. Please like, comment, and subscribe to this channel so that it will motivate me to make further useful videos like this. Thank you very much and see you in next video.